Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today. If this is your first time here, my name is Uwana Udo and every week I share great content that can help you master your personal finance and grow your wealth. So if this is your first time here, thank you for joining me. Uh, today's video is on starting your own business. Now, why do I say you need to start your own business? Now, if you're aware, we're just coming out of the health crisis, uh, which started last year. And unfortunately, because of that, a lot of families are struggling right now. A lot of people have um, either lost their jobs or just getting back into work. And the economy is still, is still struggling right now. Now, for most people, because of the health issue we had, they had to stay home. And when you stay home, you're not going to work, you have no income. And that's a very tough place to be in. That's a very tough situation to be in. So in order to be able to avoid uh, this happening again to you in the future, you need to diversify your income. And one of the best ways to diversify your income is to start your own business. Now, it doesn't matter what type of business you start, as long as you start something, okay? You gotta have multiple sources of income. You gotta have money coming in apart from your job. So um, one of the key things you wanna keep in mind is, you know, where do you stand financially? Um, do you have enough capital to start a business? What kind of business do you want to go into? So these are things you want to figure out. Once you figure out what type of business you want to go into. Now with the internet, there's a lot of opportunities online um, to start um, an e-commerce store or to do affiliate marketing or whatever. There are lots of opportunities out online. So you can go into Google, you can go into YouTube and you can research and find out what um, you know interest you now like i said one of the other decisions you have to make is to decide what kind of structure are you going to have for your business um the quickest and easiest way is to start as a sole proprietor now this video is basically for the for, for my u.s audience but if you're outside if you're watching from outside the united states i'm sure you have similar structures where you can start as an individual, which for us is called a sole proprietor. That's the quickest and easiest way to start a business. You can also form an LLC, okay, uh, to mitigate against um, liabilities. Uh, you could also incorporate. So I am not um, a business consultant. I am not a tax professional. I am not a financial advisor. I am just offering, you know, opinions and things that I have done to get myself uh, situated financially so these are the things that I did so once you've decided either you want to be a sole proprietorship or you want to be an LLC or you want to incorporate the next thing you want to do is you want to open a business checking account now why do I say you need to op open a business checking account because that's how your clients or your customers are gonna pay you okay that gets you plugged into the financial system because once you have the business checking account then you can have a business debit card and eventually you can work towards getting a business credit card where you can you know channel funnel all your expenses through that account so that way you keep your personal things separate from your business expenses and income stuff like that and then the next thing you want to do is for most of us like in, if you're in the united states you need to register the business regardless of the fact that whether you're a sole proprietor or you are an llc or you are incorporated you have to register your business with your local authorities or with the state or with the secretary of state um, in this example i'm using the united states um, so you have to register the business um, to make it legal all right and then like i said once you've done that and you have your bank account now the next thing you want to do now is you need to find customers where that's where marketing comes into play so you need to market your business you need to print business cards flyers brochures depending on what business model you're going by all right so this is just a snapshot of how to start your business um, there are more resources or if you need more information you can contact me below and I can give you some other steps and things that you need to do but most of this information is free it's out there um, you don't need to pay anyone to you know to show you how to start your business okay you can google this you can research this you can go to YouTube and you know find out how to start your own business okay the key is you need to start your own business you need to start something you need to have multiple sources of income 
just like Robert Kiyosaki said, okay, he's got the four quadrants, okay? You can be employed, you can be self-employed, you can be a business owner, or you can be an investor. Now, most people start from each of those quadrants, and some start from either of those quadrants. So depending on your capital reserves, you can start from being a business owner and also being an investor. But unfortunately, most people today I see online are all focused on investing when you don't have enough money to invest. So the quickest way for you right now is to start your own business, build slowly. Like I started a business as well, and I'm growing the business slowly. Okay, it's in the car rental business, but I'm building it slowly. Have uh, uh, multiple cars, you know, that are bringing in revenue every single month, every single day. Um, so this is what you can do for yourself. You don't have to have tons of money. If you have credit, if you have good credit, you can leverage your credit and start your own business, okay? Don't be scared, don't be afraid. Yes, you have to be worried about, you know, um, risk, but that's why you have to mitigate against risk, okay? That's why you have insurance on your car. That's why you have insurance on your home because driving is risky. You know, you can park your car and someone, you know, slams into it and crashes into it. Uh, you can be driving down the road and something happens and you get into an accident but that doesn't mean you have to be scared to drive your car okay same thing with a business okay there are ways for you to mitigate against the risk that you will incur when you start a business so i hope this was beneficial to you this is just a quick synopsis on starting your own business now like i said there are more resources online that you can you know um, research and find that can help you and like i said if you need more information you can check out uh, the description below for some information that i have or you can watch the next video coming up shortly so thank you so much for joining me today and as usual don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and also if you found this video valuable and my channel valuable please make sure you hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell so youtube will notify you of my latest videos so thank you so much again and as usual be true to yourself be true to your goals and never ever ever give up okay i'll catch you in the next video take care bye bye